After staying apart for so long, it was a long time, Dom. It's time to come back together. Hey, Vin. Hey. <laughs> I'm Jerry from Thailand, man. Nice to meet you, man. How are you, Thailand? Hey. Hi. How are you? How are you? I'm fine, man. I'm doing pretty good. I, I, I I'm doing the best I can with what little I have. I'm doing good. You miss the old life. Do you? Every day. As we know, Dom is a family guy, right? But as we're yeah. getting close to the end of the saga, do you think yeah. Dom's perspective towards family is going to change? He's a family guy through and through. What's interesting about this film is there are two brotherhoods front and center, right? One of them it represents a broken brotherhood of the past, the Jacob character. That's been my entire life in your shadow, little brother. And the other represents the reconciliation or the reconnecting of the Brotherhood of Han. So how do y'all want to play this? Fast. So both of them work together nicely to for us to explore the themes of family and the themes of fatherhood in this chapter. The world has a way of changing, <laughs> and we change too. Hey, John. How are you? I watched the film. You are kicking asses and taking names. <laughs> For the audience who didn't watch it yet, what does he add to the plate? Well, I, I think it's needed intrigue. You know, fast fans around the world know what to expect from a fast release. There's that energy. There's that excitement. There's that buzz from an action perspective of. How are they going to wow me? So we've had to revitalize that excitement, that buzz, and get people prepared to see this global blockbuster. And I think a lot of that comes with them asking questions about, well, what the hell is going on? The resurgence of Han, the fact that Dom has a long lost brother. These are questions that fans around the world want answers to. So just an added incentive to go and see a movie that you know is going to deliver, but you. You essentially don't know what's going to happen. I think that's really important to sustaining that buzz and excitement as we get closer to release. I came here to take you down, little brother. That's your mistake. This is my world. Hey, Sang. Hey, Jerry. Hey. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet uh, you too. First of all, we need to talk about the elephant in the room, right? Mm -hmm. How can you stay alive mm. after all these years? Surprise. Nice clubhouse. How can the audience expect from Han in this one? An older Han, you know, maybe a more selfless Han, a Han that is lost but now is trying to give back and find purpose in his life, right? So I think it's something that many people will be able to relate with, especially coming off the pandemic, right? We need our fun and we need our crazy action sequences. It's good to be back, but we also, you know, need to be grounded and have things that we can relate with within the characters. So I think it's just the older, wiser Han, more grounded. So I think that's what they can expect, and they can expect all the cool stuff. You know, he's still driving and drifting and doing all that. You know. <laughs> hey, Justin. Hello. Seeing you returning to the franchise is like I know that the film is in good hands. Yeah, that's great. I love it. Thank you so much. Like in this one, Fast Nine, there's a big action sequence shot in the southern part of Thailand. Also, right? Yeah. How was the shooting there? I mean, when we did the scout, there were certain things I was looking for, and we got to Phuket, and I, I saw just how beautiful everything was. I just felt like we had to go there, and we were so lucky to have an amazing crew and, and cooperation for us to come in and really run all these vehicles through. You know, anytime we get to go somewhere and be able to get to know an amazing crew, amazing culture, I. I It's the best part of the job, you know, and to be able to like do that. And you're not a tourist; you get to work with people and see what an amazing crew. I mean, I remember like they would have to literally put these bushes in over, and it was like we turned around; it was already reset, you know. And it was just uh, it had such a great time, and I I, I so appreciate it. We're going on. Oh, we're going on. Oh. Well, that was new. 
as we know, the world is not the same anymore. The pandemic are oh, so frustrating, so depressing. Cinematic experience seems like a distant memory for some people now. Let's tell them why they have to get back to the theaters and enjoy Fast Nine in SF Cinema. In SF Cinema, I'm going to tell you why. Because every now and then, when we are lucky as a movie-going audience, there is a movie born. To live and flourish and excel and to entertain in a movie theater. Some of my best memories are sitting in a dark room with hundreds of people and just like laughing together, cheering together, have those Hollywood experiences together. You know, the shared movie experience, right? I've had people in the past tell me we look forward to seeing. Fast and Furious because it's the only time I reconnect with some of my own family because we go as a team. As human beings, we need to have that connection. That's why we make these movies. And I think that's the driving force behind all this anticipatory energy about like let's go see this movie. Um, it's simple. If you want movies like this to continue and you know, be part of your life and your weekends, you have to go back to the theater. Theaters around the world they stay alive by your vote. Your tickets support us. It means so much to me that the studio waited and waited until it's safe and that we can all do that together. That's the magic of Fast and Furious.